Hey guys and welcome back. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. Today is going to be a little bit of a different video, but an exciting one. I'm going to do a mini review plus an application of the Color Me Automated Foundation Applier. Foundation Applicator, I guess you could call it. Um, I had seen this... I can't remember. I think I saw it on Instagram or something and I was so intrigued by it. I decided to give it a shot and I thought why not review it for you guys and let you know how it works and what I think about it. So basically, and I'm sorry if I look a little weird right now, I actually already concealed underneath my eyes but I have no other makeup on right now so I probably look really strange and I'm sorry about that but I wanted to leave my skin bare so that I could apply this for you and you could see exactly how it works. So essentially this is a product, it's battery powered, it comes with a battery, kind of like a little thin battery like this. Okay, so basically this product was created by a celebrity, I think celebrity makeup artist, and he, the goal was to create a product that created really seamless foundation application that created an airbrush looked, but look, but was also really, really quick. So it's supposed to basically cut your foundation time in half, which who doesn't want that? Um, it's this little guy right here, and it comes with a cap that goes over the sponge and it comes with two brushes. It comes with a um, puffier one for powder foundation and a denser one for liquid cream foundations. You press this little button right here, it turns on and it starts to vibrate. All it does is vibrate. This little thing right here doesn't move on its own, it just vibrates. Um, now these little brushes pop off really easily, there's kind of like a rubbery, let's see if that'll focus, it's kind of like a rubbery thing right there and you just pop, oops, you just pop the brush right on, just like that, and same thing, you just pull it off. Okay, so pretty, pretty simple. So pretty simple to use. You don't have to read any lengthy instructions to figure out how to use this thing. It's pretty self-explanatory. So what I did read, so the company generously offered to send me some info about the product. The stuff they sent me wasn't really that earth shattering. I mean, they did give me some stats about how many vibrations per minute you get and all that stuff, but no one really cares about that stuff. We just wanna know if it works or not. So, but they did tell me one helpful tip which was if you are using a liquid foundation or a cream foundation, you should put a layer on the denser sponge first and that will make it so it doesn't absorb as much product when you put it onto your face. So I think some of the complaints were that people were having to use more foundation to get the same amount of coverage because the sponge was absorbing the foundation. So they suggested just putting a layer over top of that so there's less absorption and you get more coverage. Um, what else is there to say? I mean, this this is a very, very kind of like cheap plastic feeling to it. I'm not saying that's bad. It's just, it doesn't feel like something really luxurious and high quality. It just feels like a little kind of, almost like a little gimmicky thing. I, I don't know. I don't know how, how else to ex describe it, but you know, it's plastic. It's nothing. I got it and I was like, oh, you know, for over $50, I would have expected something a little bit more high quality feeling, but with that said, it hasn't had any glitches yet, so that's a good thing. Um, so without further ado, I do want to show you how this thing works. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to apply one half of my face with a cream foundation and one half with a powder foundation. What I'm going to be using for the cream is the L'Oreal Visible Lift Blur Foundation. Because they recommend using a more creamy textured foundation, almost like a BB cream, as opposed to a really, really liquidy foundation. I imagine you just get better coverage using a thicker foundation. So what I'm going to do is just, like they suggest, ah! I just dropped foundation all over my pants. Oh well. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to apply a layer over the sponge, just like they suggested. Just like that. And then the rest I'm going to apply directly to my face. And then I'll buff it in with the tool. So I'm trying to apply a decent amount so that I get 
the coverage that I want. Okay. Mm. I don't know why, but whenever I do whenever I do videos, I'm like three times as clumsy. I'm like dropping stuff, spilling stuff. It's ridiculous. Okay, so now that we're nice and zoomed in, I'm basically going to turn on the tool and start blending in my foundation. Now they don't really specify a specific way of applying this stuff, or this thing. Like my initial, <clears throat> excuse me, my initial instinct was to use like kind of like buffing motions like that, but I actually found that it was more effective just to use kind of swiping motions like what I'm doing right now. Okay, so that is the foundation all buffed in with this tool, and I think you get pretty decent coverage out of it, but I don't find that the application is significantly quicker when you use this as opposed to when you use a brush or your fingers. I think it's pretty comparable, actually, in terms of time that it takes, but it does take a little bit of the work out of it in that you don't have to use your hand to do those buffing motions. This kind of does the buffing for you. And I mean, it feels sort of nice on the face because um, it's got that vibrating going on. So yeah, I don't know what you guys think. If you guys think that has some nice coverage, it's decent. You know, it's not earth shattering, but it's not bad. And I did that in about, I don't know, probably under a minute. So now I'm gonna switch to the powder sponge and this one is just a little fluffier. And I'm not a person that really uses powder foundation, so I don't have a lot to choose from, but I do have my L'Oreal True Match, and I have my Hello Flawless by Benefit. So I think I'm gonna try the Hello Flawless one, because I think it's a little bit of a better match for my skin. The True Match is a little bit dark for me, I think. So I'm just going to rub the sponge in the powder, get it nice and coated there and proceed to apply it. Now, when I've watched other, whoa, when I've watched other reviews of this, they have pretty much all said that this works better with powder foundation than with liquid or cream. So we will see. Now, as far as powder foundation goes, like I said, I don't use it a lot, so I don't have a ton to compare it to. But what I will say is that that provided some pretty nice coverage with a really matte kind of flawless finish. So where this, you have more of a dewy natural finish, this is more of a full coverage look. And that did apply pretty fast. So I didn't have to do a lot of excess blending. And there we go. Okay, so there it is after applying the cream or liquid foundation. I used kind of a creamy texture and the powder foundation. Um, so both of those were pretty quick. They didn't require a ton of extra effort. Um, I thought the powder foundation applied super quick and the liquid required a little bit more blending and application time just to get everything nice and seamlessly blended. So now I'm just going to look up close to the skin and see how it looks. So overall, the coverage is pretty natural on both sides. The powder is obviously a little bit cakier, but both sides, you don't have a ton of makeup on your face, it looks like. Um, so the powder definitely picks up some of the little bumps I have on my face a little bit more when you look up close, but from afar, I feel like it does provide a more 
airbrushed finish. So overall, I would have to agree with most of the reviews out there that this product works better with powder foundations than with liquid or cream foundations. I think when using a liquid or cream, this is okay, but you probably will get just as good, if not better coverage using the method that you had been using, like a brush or your fingers or whatever. But with powder, I do think this did a pretty nice job, I have to say. So that is a plus. If you are a powder foundation girl, you may want to give this a shot, or boy. Um, so the last thing I want to talk about is cleaning. So they really make a point to tell you that you shouldn't clean this as you would a typical brush. So you don't want to scrub at it and you don't want to submerge it in water. So there are two ways that I've been cleaning this. One is by using the Beauty So Clean little um, alcohol pads. Basically I just blot it into the sponge and I think that helps to just um, kill any of the bacteria. It doesn't really take away the color, like it doesn't make it look clean as it did when I got it, but at least I know it's taking away the bacteria. The other thing you can use is, this is not what I wanted to pick up, this is a setting spray, but I do have a Beauty So Clean um, makeup brush cleaning spray, which is also, it's basically the exact same thing as this, except in spray form. So I figure you can also use something like that to clean these sponges, so that way you're not um, damaging them by submerging them or really scrub scrubbing at them to get the color out. So. Now that we are all finished, I'm just going to take my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder to set everything, well, to set the liquid side, because I don't need to set the powder side, just so you get the finished effect. Okay, and that's it. That is the demo, my quick review, and I think overall, I have to say, I've used this two or three times, and I was pretty set on the fact that I was going to return it, just because I wasn't reaching for it, I didn't feel like it made a huge difference in my application time. But since trying it with my Hello Flawless powder foundation, I, I think I'm gonna hang on to it. I'm actually pretty impressed with how, um, with how nicely and quickly it applied that powder foundation and how much of an airbrushed look that it gave to the skin. So I am liking that aspect of this. Um, it is a pricier product uh, with being over $50, but you can get it at Ulta or you can order it online. And, um, yeah, overall, I hope you guys really liked this review. I hope it was helpful for you, and please like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Thanks so much for stopping by, and I will see you soon. And it was created by a makeup artist to help apply foundation in a really seamless, airbrushed look, but... What do you want? Dude, I need a pen. Okay. I I probably have pens in my bag. Mm -hmm. Babe, do you need a pen? Mm -hmm. Babe! <laughs> I lost my place. <laughs>